Welcome to this audio presentation. I'm Mike Hansen of the FG Publishing Network and your host, and I might add, student, because I'm going to be in your place as you listen to this with me, and together we'll learn the four surefire steps to personal wealth from multimillionaire investor, entrepreneur, and author Marco Haraldson. Before I turn the mic over to Mark, let me encourage you to print the action guide from the PDF that's on the audio download page and follow along, fill in the blanks, study the written material. This will only aid your quick assimilation of these powerful financial principles and put you more quickly on this proven path to personal wealth. Now, Mark, you set us up with this idea that it would have been so much easier and you would have saved so much time if someone had pointed out this material to you for you to follow when you were beginning. It only took you four years to figure it out. But maybe it's going to take us less time if we have your assistance here. That's exactly right. In fact, I, I, I wanted to have a formula, a financial formula, if you will. And I, and I get bits and pieces from different people of, of their formulas and their step-by-step. -step, but I had to do a lot of work to assimilate it, to put it all together. I think it'll make a huge difference to anybody that listens and follows it. I know it will, in fact, because I've, I've, I've seen it happen too many times to not notice uh, this super success of many, many people. In fact, I get phone calls every week of people that have had super success and won't, just want to thank me, which is always a nice uh, little extra bonus. But you know, let me say this right from the outset. It, it really takes work. Any Anytime someone is trying to sell you a system and says this is, is, is dirt easy, it's just not true. Uh, to make a million or five million or 10 million is not easy. Now, there's a big difference though between easy and simple. It is simple. The formulas are pretty darn simple, but it takes work. Uh, the system or formula works if you work. And so let me, let me go through those four steps. Okay, I'm on the edge of my seat. And, and I would reiterate, get that action guide and follow along. Step one is go out and borrow some capital or save it. Now, if you're in a hurry, like many people are, they don't want to save it. They, they want to borrow it, and that's okay. Let's say we're going to start with $10,000. To go out and borrow $10,000 uh, from, from who? From, from a bank or family or friends or partners. Um, and, and so you can start right now. Even though you have to pay interest or, or share part of the returns, that's okay. Uh, some people will say, wow, 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 wait a minute. That's way too risky to borrow money to start investing. But you know... People borrow all the time for, for risky investments that are stupid. There aren't even investments, stupid things like uh, you have to have it many times, but a car. A car is almost sure to go down in value. What I will show you in step two, three, and four will, I think, prove uh, to be a low-risk investment with great rewards. Cars are sure to fall, almost sure to fall. And the investment I'm going to be talking about most likely will rise. And there's ways that you can ensure it will rise. Okay, before we move to step two, though, I've got to tell the listener about the power of compounding because that plays a big, big role in uh, these steps. And, of course, it's really one of the keys to dramatically growing your personal wealth. We've all heard about compounding of interest. We've heard that, you know, you put your money in a bank and they, the bank will pay you a compounded interest rate. And all that means is, is let's say you put in $10,000 in a bank and they're giving you 4%. At the end of one year, you've got $10,400. The $400 is the money they so graciously gave you, a return on your money. And of course, uh, the compounding starts in the second year where they're giving you 4% interest on your 10000 plus the 400 that you've earned. In other words, the compound part is $16. That is 4% on $400. So at the end of the second year, you have 10000 plus the 400 of the, of the first year they gave you, and then $416 the second year. So you have $10,816. But now, uh, let's get that 4% idea out of your mind. Let me, let me try to move your mind to a much, much, much higher rate, like 50% return. I'm definitely not going to the bank. Definitely, you're not going to get that at the bank, or even a 100% rate of return. Don't, and, and I would say to the listener, don't worry about the how you're going to get that yet. Just follow the concept 
and I will show you the how in the later steps. But get these numbers here. If you start with $10,000, and if you can get a return of 50%, you will turn that $10,000 into $4,378,000 in 15 years. Now, if you really want your mind blown. Good grief. Yeah, good grief is right. Take that same 10000 and compound it at 100% a year. And in 10 years, just 10 years, you'll have over $10 million, $10 million and change. Well, we don't love a 100% return, but... Yeah, and, and the, the listener might be saying, wait, wait, wait a minute, hang on, that is not possible. And I say to that legitimate query, that legitimate doubt, yes, it is possible. I know it's possible because I've done it. In fact, and I'm not saying you're, you can take money and do 100% a year for years and years and years, because when you start, it's much easier, as you will see in a minute, to turn that 10,000 into 20,000, that it's easier to do that than to turn a million into two million in one year. Uh, the bigger amounts, it gets harder to make the higher rate of return. But in the 36 years I've been doing this, I did the figuring just today, and I have averaged more than 30% return in those 36 years. On average. On average. And we're talking now millions and millions and millions of dollars. Okay, so you say, how did I do it, and how yeah. can you do it, is, is the next logical question. My pen is ready. All right, step two is implementing or using financial leverage. That's how you get these high rates of return. You know what a lever is. Everybody knows what a lever is. A lever is, is a long stick or pole or whatever that you use to lift something that normally you couldn't lift by yourself. And, and of the course, longer the lever, the more effective it is to lift. That's right. In fact, who was it? It was Archimedes who said, if you give me a lever long enough and uh, a place to stand, I could lift the earth. And uh, mathematically, that's absolutely true. Financial leverage is the, is, has the same kind of power. And financial leverage is done by using other people's money. Now, if you started by borrowing in that first step when we're talking that $10,000, you're already starting to use leverage there. But I'm saying you use leverage even more than that. And that's exactly how you get these very, very high rates of return. Example, if you were going to buy a $100,000 asset, and for now we're not going to worry about what that asset is, just to get the concept and the principle down first. If you had a $100,000 asset, and you bought it with $10,000, you're lifting a $100,000 asset with $10,000 of your own money, $90,000 of borrowed money. So the 10000 is a down payment, so to speak. That's right, a down payment on whatever kind of asset we're going to buy, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Now, if you have that $100,000 asset, Mike, and it went up by 10% in value, what does that equal in dollars? How much did you make? $10,000. Right, exactly, $10,000. But... What kind of rate of return is that on your invested dollars? 100%. Right, because you, you put in 10000 the $100,000 asset went up to $110,000 worth of value if you were getting the 10%. So 10000 is now worth $20,000. you have doubled your money, which is a 100% rate of return. So on paper, anyway, that shows you how it can be done. The big but here is how do you find an asset that will appreciate by 10% or more. And that is step three, finding the right investment vehicle. And when I say vehicle, I do not mean car. I mean things like, are we talking stocks and bonds? Is that going to be the best investment vehicle? Are we talking uh, your own running your own business? Is that the best investment vehicle? Is it real estate? Is that the best one? And the answer to that is kind of, it depends. I think, personally, the, the, the easiest, safest, most predictable one, even though markets go up and markets go down, is real estate, improved real estate. Not just a piece of dirt, but improved real estate. Some people have a, a knack for running their own business, and they can do really well, and there's nothing wrong with that either. And uh, the ultimate leverage on that, of course, is having your own business and eventually taking that business public. And that's, that's really super, super leverage. Or to sell it. Or to sell it, exactly. But I'm going to take real estate because that's what I know best and that's what I've done um, for the most part. And I've had businesses and I've done well there, but the, the biggest, most consistent rate of return over those 36 years comes from investment in real estate. And again, I'm talking improved real estate. So we're talking houses, apartments, 
commercial properties even? Actually, all, all of the above. I started with houses. I, I started with uh, dirt bag, what I call dirt bag houses, something houses that needed a lot of work and loving attention. See, the, the bonus here is that there's a way to ensure that the real estate goes up in value by 10 or 20 percent or even more. And I've had, I've had cases where, especially in my early years, I improved the value by 50 percent on the investment value and when I was leveraged 10 to 1, the 10,000 down and the 100,000, 90,000 borrowed, that was a 500% rate of return. If you really want to blow your mind, look at the tables, the compound tables, and see what 500% will do on your money. Now, again, those are the exceptions. Those are not the everyday deals. And again, remember, my 36-year average, that's a long time, was over 30%. And that's even when I got into the millions, uh, have consistently done that. Now, so the, the, the key here is finding those dirtbag properties, and that's what takes sweat equity. That takes work. But then that sweat equity, whether it's a small house, a small apartment building, a medium-sized apartment building, or a large apartment building, when you find these, you tie them up, you negotiate a good price, and whether the market's soft or whether the market's moving up fast, these bargain prices or bargain properties are, are available. Sometimes it takes a lot more work, a lot more offers to find them, but then you find them and then you go in and you fix it up. And initially I did it all myself, did all the sweat equity, literally myself. And then later I hired a high school girl at minimum wage and uh, went from there. So that's, that's the kind of properties, the assets. When you say that, the fix up you were doing mostly painting? M m yeah, cosmetic? mainly cosmetic, exactly, cosmetic, you know, paint and carpet, paint and carpet, and, you know, move the garbage cans from the front yard to the backyard, and, you know, things like that people see, and push that value up by 10 or 20 or 30 percent, and again, there's, there's your leverage, and you're going to get these big, fat re rates of return. Yeah, it can be done, I know it can be done, the formula's there, the guide's there, and I put it all down in black and white. Okay, step four... I can be summed up this way, uh, I think. The most expensive and risky way to make a million dollars or millions of dollars is to innovate. That's hard. That's not easy. The least expensive and least risky way is to duplicate. So if you're an innovative person, you might go th through the hard work of the innovation, but if you're, if you're not like that, and I'm not, I like the duplication. You duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. In other words, once I found that first house, that first property, fixed it up, financed it, and then sold it, flipped it, and then I would buy a second one. I would do it over and over and over again. And uh, I didn't stay with the small houses. Eventually started going to the duplexes and then, then the 12-unit apartment buildings and, and then 50 and then 100. And then I went from that to uh, bigger properties, uh, shopping malls, office buildings, uh, and even development, which uh, had very high rates of return. So why does it work? Why is duplication better? Is because you already know how to do it because you've done it. So your learning curve is there. You're, you're better, you're smarter, and things work faster for you. And those are the four steps. Now, if you're really in a super hurry, uh, you could follow, and I talk about this also in detail, uh, my, my billionaire success student, a guy by the name of Deloy Hansen. Uh, Google it. Uh, check him out. Uh, Deloy Hansen started when he was in college. He uh, found my first book where I uh, very simply outlined these things. And... Um, in college with uh, net worth, as he says, a, a uh, beat up Volkswagen and I think and he had a bicycle and the back, it was a 10 speed back then. What he did was he used other people's money to the max. He went out and found partners. They put up all the money. He, he took fees. He, he, he found the properties. He negotiated them. He's a darn good negotiator, tough negotiator. He would tie it up. And I tell, I tell how you tie it up without risking any money, too, how you can tie the properties up. And then he packaged it, really nice packages, and then he would share it. That is, he would bring partners in, and he would manage the properties very, very well, and then he duplicated it, those seven steps. And uh, he has well over a billion dollars worth of property now, and he's a much younger man than, than I am. Mark, I think the story that you have related, I think, is a good example about Deloy Hansen. Step one, let's say you don't have access to $10,000 or any money. He basically started from scratch. 
That's exactly right. He didn't have any money, and he uh, didn't want to borrow it, so he went and found partners. And the other thing, Mike, I've got to say is I, I happen to know him really well because I've joined him on two deals where I've been one of his partners, put up the money that, of properties he bought big big buildings, really big buildings. And uh, he takes such good care of his partners. He under promises and over delivers. So when he wants another five or 10 or 20 or 50 million to put in a building, he doesn't have to spend hardly any effort to find those investors because they come back and they refer their friends to him. And so he has to actually literally turn people away on some of, of some of his better deals. Well, Mark, you referred to a book earlier. And I want to talk to the listeners about this. It's uh, the latest edition of your first book. It's called The Next Step to Waking Up the Financial Genius Inside You. And this book, you detail uh, specifically this plan and, and all of the underlying details that need to be in place for somebody to execute this program. And that book has sold well over 2 million copies. And they can buy that at uh, wakeupgenius.com. Before we close, Mark, there's one other question. Any other steps, any other keys that you think a person ought to add to these four that you've given us? You know, there really is, and it's a simple one. And a lot of people miss this. And that is a simple word called action. You can know all kinds of stuff. You can have all kinds of great ideas. You can be motivated, turned on. But if you don't take action you don't have anything. Action is the key. Action overcomes fear. Action gets things done. Action makes money. Action brings great satisfaction. So I would say, yes, there is. Uh, If you like what you've heard, if you think this is the path you want to follow, take action and do it now. Not tomorrow, not in an hour. Do it now. And I suggest you go visit wakeupgenius.com, folks. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, listeners.